up, YouTube? Molly G back at y'all on an episode of Running With Y'all, No Cap, No Filter. Today, I'm going to go ahead on and get into this Yaya situation, you dig? She been making a lot of, you know, noise on the internet lately, uh, all for the wrong reasons, in my opinion, <laughs> you dig? Like, a lot of, every time she posts something, the shit been going viral around the internet lately, but, uh, I'm going to go ahead on and talk about two situations, uh, you know, post that she made that went around and just got viral or whatever. The first post is going to be about her getting married. I'm going to play that clip first and then have a reaction for it. And then the second post is going to be about her on live, I think. And she's telling the DJ to turn a certain song off. And that certain song got La Dirk on it. And La Dirk, you know, he quote unquote maybe uh maybe not got problems with you know her baby daddy so i'm gonna go ahead on and get into both reactions i'm gonna get into the first clip right now about her getting married go ahead on and check it out real quick tell y'all how i got the ring still got it still got it i got it still got it i got it still got it if you ain't know ask anybody ask him and that's on period. Still still married. Married. <laughs> and that's on <laughs> Mary had a lamb. You had no other Okay. Babe. Are you playing music? I thought you were playing music. Be mad at him. She don't lie. Come on, you want to talk about my husband? Huh? Who? <laughs> no, say what? Who? We not. We not. We talk about the music. <laughs> don't play. For real. I'm all jokes aside. Not when it comes to that one. <laughs> All right, now, as you can see, she's talking about getting married. She's talking about, let me tell you how I got these rings. She's talking about, you know, ask him and all that, referring to young boys. Because she says, still getting married. Because, you know, in a video that he made a long time ago, he was like, talk about her, my wife. You know what I'm saying? What you want, bo? <laughs> and all that crazy ass shit when he was going do some shit with Kodak or whatever, but you know, she referring that she still get married with the nigga, woo -de woo woo -de woo but I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this video because I feel like this is real relatable within the black culture your day, especially young black inner city females, or young black females that's dealing with inner city niggas or whatever um, money y'all y'all come from money your day, she, her, her father is Floyd Mayweather, your day, so she ain't never just grew up struggling at all, your day, she not street at all, but she's dealing with a nigga who, you know, come from, you know, that type of lifestyle, so when you're dealing with a nigga for so long, you start to take on his traits, you start to take on his motherfucking lingo, you start to take on his words, because you so in love with a nigga, you so infatuated with a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Whatever lifestyle he he liking or he, you know what I'm saying, portraying, you're gonna be some way, somehow involved with that. And I feel like love is blind, you dig. So by love being blind, her is just blind blinded and not knowing, you know what I'm saying, how she making herself look behind this nigga, you dig. Cause let's face it, I feel like young boy only fuck with her because he could run her, you dig. Young boy the type of nigga he done like he seemed like the type of fe he liked to like females that he could control. You dig? If he could control you, if he could manipulate you, you dig? Then he could be able to fuck with you. If he can't control you, manipulate you, and you can't get be convenient for him to anyway, you know what I'm saying? He not gonna fuck with you. And the way Yaya carry herself and the way she seemed, she seemed like she's easily manipulatable. <laughs> she seemed like she's easily be controlled or whatever. And she just gonna do whatever to be down and just, you know, fuck, she ain't already stabbed the female behind this nigga, you dig? Fuck, I don't, I don't even know if she even got in trouble for that shit yet, but, you dig? I'm pretty sure that even if she didn't, she's gonna do some type of motherfucking punishment for that shit. But, uh, yeah, dog, I feel like this going in a black community a lot, you dig? And then notice how, you know what I'm saying, right after they had the baby, or right before they had the baby, that's when they break up, you dig? I feel like a lot of niggas, you know what I'm saying, they fuck with a female, they fuck with a female, and then get ready to just really move, move around 
once a baby about is about to get born because fuck they know shit they gonna have to deal with me anyway now now that we got a baby shit she gonna have to stick with me she gonna have to deal with me regardless you dead and shit maybe here and there i could still pluck you dead nigga can still fuck a bash or whatever you want to call it you know what i'm saying and i feel like that going on the black community a lot and i feel like this is a a mindset that we need to get out of you dead um I feel like they brought a baby into this world, you dig, that not going to be up under a motherfucking two-parent household, like, from jump. And that shit really be fucking up our black community, I feel like, you dig. Um, shit, it happened with me and my baby mama. I ain't even much going to lie. Me and my baby mama, you know what I'm saying, we was having a lot of toxic shit going on in our relationship, but... You know what I'm saying? We ain't really call it quits till after the baby was born. How crazy is that? And I feel like a lot of people could relate to that shit. You dead? Like, how crazy is it to finally, you know what I'm saying, call it quits right before a baby come into the world or right after the baby come into the world? You know? That baby got to come into, you know, a toxic upbringing or an upbringing with a single parent household. You dead? Like, that shit fucked up. And... That's why a lot of shit play into the statistics, you dig? Um, like I say, man, love is blind, and she just out here doing shit right now that, you know what I'm saying, she's just going off of emotion, and then on top of that, she's very young, you dig? So, when she get older, she gonna look back at this shit and be like, I don't know what the hell I was thinking, especially over a nigga like, you know what I'm saying? That, you know, really just only fuck with her for her convenience. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, to him, she probably look good. You know what I'm saying? Because she's still a uh, attractive young lady. You dead. But one thing I know about females also is, like, the way she was flexing and shit, she's basically flexing on the other females saying, oh, well, y'all fucking with him and all this and all that. He might be sleeping with y'all and all this and all that. But, you know what they all going to say? He know what home is, <laughs> you dig? He know where his heart at, you dig? Yeah, he can fuck around and play with y'all, but as long as he come home, that's all that matter. And <laughs> that's one thing I think females need to get out their head, dog. Like, you running around with a nigga, playing with a nigga, and, you know what I'm saying, doing all this and doing all that just to make another female mad. Just to be able to say, oh, well, I got him tonight, oh, well, I got the ring, and that shit's still not gonna work out. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? A nigga gonna only do as you allow him to do. You dig? So you can't feel sorry for certain people, you know what I'm saying, when they of a certain age. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's still sad to see because she's still young, but at the same time, you can't play victim no more. Like, you just gotta, you know what I'm saying, call it for what it is. Motherfucker being dumb. You dig? So I feel like when she was flexing, she's talking about all the other females that you know, young boy dealing with, you dig, and she feeling like she's winning because she got the baby, she got the ring, or whatever, and honestly, I feel like that just talk that he's telling her, and even if he do do it, that shit's not gonna last, come on, <laughs> that shit's not gonna last, so, yeah, man, that's how I feel about this video right here, when she's talking about her getting a ring and Mary had a little lamb and that's on period and all this and all that crazy shit. So I'm gonna go ahead on and get into the next video. Check this out. This video right here is gonna be her talking about t turning off a song. But you know who the song is for. Go ahead on and take a look. <laughs> Now, as you can see, she's doing the most to tell a DJ turn this particular song up. I mean, doing the most. Like, if a motherfucker don't like a song, a motherfucker gonna just, you know, mostly wait till the song go off, you know what I'm saying, do some other shit, go get them a drink or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? They gonna just do some other shit until the song go off. The songs don't even much last that long when it's at a party because the DJ got so many long songs on the playlist. But she she felt like she had to go out her way to tell the DJ turn this song off on a lot. And to me, that's her thinking. She's been a ride or die. And you know what I'm saying? Telling 
the DJ not to play none of her nigga op songs or whatever because you know supposedly young boy had quote unquote beef with Vine and Vine is dirt man she a dig so you know what I'm saying? Anything affiliated with that side, ain't trying to fuck with. So she's trying to be, quote unquote, a down female to her nigga. And, you know what I'm saying? Telling the DJ to turn that shit off. You know what I'm saying? That shit don't get no play at this party. It did when I think that shit wasn't called for. And that's one thing I think about the black community as well. I feel like a lot of shit don't be called for. And a lot of shit be started over females. Like a lot of niggas be claiming... Uh, they beefing with a nigga or they got problems with a nigga because of uh, money or because of disrespect or some shit like that. But a lot of times, you know what I'm saying, a high percentage percentage of the time, it'd be over female. It'd be over pussy. It'd be, it'd be over pussy talking. I mean, pillow talking. You dig? Pillow talking while you're in the pussy and shit. You know what I'm saying? So when these niggas be pillow talking with these females, these females really be believing in shit. That's why they feel the need to say, oh yeah, he know where home at, he know where his heart at. And every female think they pussy the the, 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 the truth. You dead. Every female think they got a nigga head gone. But you dead, I feel like that shit right there just bring on unnecessary drama, unnecessary replies and responses and shit. And that shit right there gonna throw niggas in crosses one nigga done already responded to the shit you know what i'm saying one nigga from chicago done already responded to the shit now that shit could have a nigga out of young boy can't respond to him and then that shit just you know play into a whole little beef that just started when both can't see each other you know what i'm saying like <laughs> that shit really be been started over these hoes dog like <laughs> nigga when a motherfucker fuck with a female and that female throw him in a cross with another nigga you know what I'm saying that's unnecessary nigga need to cut that female off ASAP you know what I'm saying cause I done had some shit like that happen with me and my baby mama and another nigga in the past and that shit turned out bad but it could've went way worse or it did and I'm, you know what I'm saying past that part of my life and I didn't seen it firsthand. you know what I'm saying with myself and I didn't seen it firsthand with the others especially when I was living in New Orleans so, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, within the black community, though, like, when it comes to females dealing with niggas, though, throwing niggas in crosses ain't cool, you know what I'm saying, trying to keep a nigga and trying to, you know what I'm saying, go tit for tat for other females with them ain't cool, like, we just gotta get out of certain mindsets and we gotta just grow up. Now, I'm also talk about another thing that she went viral with on social media is with her having her baby on a yacht. Now, first of all, it's COVID. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think the baby should be around a lot of people, for one. And it's a newborn, for two. Then on top of that, they say newborns shouldn't be on yachts and shit and boats for safety reasons. You know what I'm saying? Now, me personally, I feel like it was just basically people just making it something because it's yaya like if it was beyonce or somebody else did this shit wouldn't nobody really say much but just because it was yaya you know what i'm saying when you don't like somebody <laughs> no matter what they do you gonna find a way to just you know what i'm saying talk shit about them you know what i'm saying so just because it was yaya they make it they, they make it their business to say oh this is bad this is wrong or whatever but shit they have newborn babies on airplanes i'm pretty sure they got shit for a newborn airplane a newborn baby to, you know, have safety precautions on the airplane, but if a baby could be on the airplane, I feel like a baby could be on the yacht. It, it's just the, the pandemic and it was like a, a a having fun, you know what I'm saying, adults drinking setting. Instead of it just being just, you know, a little bit of family and friends. You dig? <laughs> but, yeah, man. Um, I don't think she should get that much backlash she getting off it. I don't think it's you know what I'm saying? That much of a big deal. But, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to touch on another thing that she went viral for. But what y'all think, man? Uh, y'all agree with what I say? Um, Let me know down in the comments. Um, Let me know if I'm right. Let me know if I'm wrong. Agree, disagree. And if you like the video and you think I'm sending out a good message, then go ahead on and share that thing, man. 